So I sold something this week that I got free on the side of the road for $475. Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to talk to you about sales last week, which were extraordinary for me. I am very pleased because I've had some lousy sales lately and if you follow me you know that I had surgery and had some downtime so I was not listing. So my sales are slowly growing but never did I expect a week like this one. So let me do a quick recap. Last week I sold 86 items for $3,575 which is freaking amazing. Even without the shipping, it's still $2,628. So amazing for me. So that means my average sale this week was $41.57. That was insane. I never have averages like that. Now, obviously I can't show you all 86 items. We'd be here forever. So I am going to show you the higher dollar items that I sold this week. And there's quite a few of them. Amazingly. The, the first one is the best one by far. I sold this Sony Triniton monitor. It's evidently great for retro gaming. So the story of this monitor is not last summer, but the summer before, my daughter and I would walk about midnight in our neighborhood. Now it cooled down in Florida late at night and we live in a safe neighborhood, so we would do that often. But the reseller in me is always on the lookout for free things that people leave out for trash. One night there were two electronic boxes and then this giant monitor, which weighs about 60 pounds or so. We went home and I couldn't stop thinking about the items. So I got in my car and I went and got the two small boxes, but I couldn't lift the monitor by myself. An hour later, I just couldn't let it go. So I drug my daughter back in the car and made her help me pick up this monitor. And there it sat for a year and a half. Quite honestly, I didn't know what to do with it. I knew that people used it for retro gaming. I knew it averaged about $600 for sale, but I had no way of shipping this thing. So I actually listed it on eBay as local pickup only. I had this up for sale for $600 and someone messaged me and said they were driving seven hours each way to come get it and would I take $475? And I thought, $4.75 for something that sat abandoned in my garage for a year and a half? Sure, that sounds great. So the man came to pick it up and he had a little box that he had made a homemade console and he was able to test out the monitor. Here's a picture of him loading up a game. Not sure what that line is across. I think it's just something in my camera, but it wasn't there. The picture was amazing. He was happy. I was happy. $475. He is planning on flipping it and that's okay with me. He lives in central Florida where there's a big gaming hub right there. A lot of people are into the retro gaming and if I can make some money and he can make some money. We're both doing amazing. Oh, the next item is blow molds. Earlier this week, I picked up 10 blow molds from the Goodwill bins and I only paid $15 for all of them. All but two have sold already this week. The first one here was actually someone who lived in a town away from me and they asked if they could come pick him up. I listed him for $99, but he sold for $85. I'll take that all day long. Then I had seven of these peppermint candy light posts. I did sell the first two sets and look, these are ones without lights for $99. And then I sold two more sets for $85 each. They were actually super easy for me to box up. I just stacked two boxes together, as you can see here, and all of them are going out tomorrow via UPS. Then I had this one that's left, one single one. He sold by himself for $45. I still have to get him boxed up, but I'm super happy. I only have two blow molds left. One is a Halloween blow mold and one is from a nativity scene. I've had plenty of offers on the Halloween one, but I want to hold out for a higher price because she is super rare. The next item that I picked up was this Connects Screaming Serpent. The box inside looked amazing. It had the manual and all the parts were labeled, even all of the roller coaster pieces. 
I sold that in just a few days for $89.95 plus shipping. The next item that I sold was this Fisher Price Smart Trike. It's really cool for little kids. You can put your iPad on there or they can use Bluetooth on the television. I would have never picked this up. I actually passed it at the Goodwill bins. My friend Karen brought it over to me and said, Angie, this sells on Facebook Marketplace for $75. They said I could have it for $5 at the Goodwill bins. I decided to list it on Facebook Marketplace, but I wasn't sure if I could take it apart. So I went on YouTube and looked at the how to assemble instructions. And it is really super easy to reverse that and take it apart. So I decided to try it on eBay and lo and behold, it sold for full price, $149.95. I have to ship that thing today. The next item I sold was something, again, I got at the Goodwill Bins paid 75 cents for it it's this black's law dictionary it did have someone's name on it right there someone stamped their name so i did take a best offer of 80 dollars. but guys 80 dollars for a book i paid 75 cents for crazy the next item i sold was this slice design cutter i think it's like a small version of a cricket i had never heard of it but it was in the box at the google bins i paid five dollars for it and it sold full price the very same day i listed it for 49 dollars and 95 cents it went global shipping so somebody in canada got that the next item that sold was this american girl doll i picked these up at a yard sale bought four of them for 50 dollars i actually passed them right by and my daughter kept whispering to me something and i was like totally tuning her out and she's like mom American Girl dolls right over there. Now the first one I already sold for $79.95, so I'm well in the profit already. The other three needed a little bit of work. She was probably the cleanest of all. I listed her for $49.95, but I took a best offer of $40 and she's going out. Dyson parts. If you ever find Dyson parts, definitely be looking these up. This was just a motorhead brush. It sold for $49.95 three times. The problem is everybody who was buying it was either not paying or what, but as soon as I would put it back up, it would sell again. Finally, it sold to somebody and it actually made it to them. So it sold for $49.95 and it was by weight. So probably paid $3 for it. Found these at the bins as well. And these were super lightweight. They only weighed about a pound. So that means like two bucks I paid for them. And they did sell for $48.15. Took about a month, but happy with that. So this SeaWorld Dolphin, I actually picked up last summer for a dollar at a yard sale. They had amazing plush at this yard sale and I was surprised nobody had picked them up yet. But he sat for quite a while, but I would imagine he's going to be someone's Christmas gift. Now just be careful about size. He did need to get a smushed a little bit in the box. It's so crazy when something goes to California from Florida, how much an inch or two will make in your price. So be careful of that. And he did go UPS. An old VCR that I got for $5. I actually picked this up at an estate sale. It did not have a remote, but it did sell for $39.95. I had it listed for about six months, but I had it at $59.95. And the second I marked down the price $20, it sold within an hour. Here's something crazy. I paid a dollar for this cat. He is a vintage kitsch planter. He's a Siamese cat. He's He was chunky. He was a pretty big size planter. I listed him pretty high, like $49, and I got a best offer of $37. Been listed about six months. I was super happy. Breakables, you have to be super careful with packaging them, but I think I did a good job. He should get there safely. Found these at the bins as well, sold them for $38, and they were actually brand new with tags. Chuck Taylor, they had like that cracked leather look, so it was kind of cool that they were leather converse. But I think I had them on there for $44.95 and took a best offer of $35. Columbia Snow Pants, new with tags, found these at the bins in the middle of summer. Had this on there for a while, but did sell for full price, $49.95. This I just found last week. I was so excited when I found this. It was just a Powerpuff Girls Christmas DVD. And when I saw it, I'm like, I have never seen that before. And I looked it up and it was selling for over $30. I'm like, yeah, score. Cause I probably paid 50 cents for it. And it only took about a day for somebody to pick that up. I'm 
super happy that someone liked that. So be on the lookout for Powerpuff Girls. So Friday I picked up several games, including Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resorts. They both sold, but Wii Sports Resort was the higher price one, so I put it on the list, $29.95. I think the other one sold for $19.95. Then I picked these up. Now for my bins, when you get glassware, it's only 79 cents a pound. So these were like 40 cents each. I got like six of these Cow Parade cows which just cracked me up i thought they were so funny and i sold two of them this week one for 19.95 and the other was 18.95 best offer for a dollar off but look at this thing he looks like what do they call him a circus clown or rodeo clown there you go i guess that's a cute collectible it's better than collecting precious moments or something but i thought it was neat then the very last thing i'm going to show you is this melissa and doug doctor or nurse puppet with has the wooden stick. I sold them for $21.95, which was full asking price. So I was super happy about that. Okay, well, that's it today, guys. Pretty amazing sales. Let me know how you're doing. I've heard from a lot of people that sales are really up for them. I guess as we go into Christmas, I even had really good sales so far today, which I'll share with you later in the week. But still can't believe my cost of goods were so low for some of these great amazing sales especially that monitor where can you get 475 dollars for zero investment all right until next time i'm angie have a great day bye